To create a quote, we can go to Sales and then select Opportunities. From here, I'm going to select and open an opportunity. So for this video, I'm going to select the Computers Opportunity for Tailspin Toys. Within this opportunity, we can see the process bar as well as other components. When scrolling down, you'll see a Quotes tab, and to create a new one, select the plus sign in the corner. So when a quote is created from an existing opportunity, the information from that opportunity will pre-populate into the quote form. But before we continue, let's take a look at how to create a quote from scratch. So to do this, we will go up to Sales and then select Quotes. Then we will select New. So from opening this form, we can see that both forms, whether you start it from an opportunity or from the quotes entity, they will be filled out the same. The only difference is that the information will be pre-populated from an opportunity if you choose to go that route. So you'll be saving time. Now let's go back to the quote through the opportunity. So I'm going to select the potential customer. And for that, I'm going to look up more records and then select Tailspin Toys. Next, I'm going to choose a date where the quote will expire on. And then at the bottom, you'll notice that you have an option to add a description. Now, if this was an actual quote, all of this information here would be filled out. However, I'm just going to leave it blank. And then I'm just going to add an effective from and effective to dates for this quote. Now scrolling back to the bottom, we can see that the price list is pre-populated to the Canadian dollar, and I'm going to leave it like that. And then going down a little bit further, we can see that there's other information that you can fill out within this quote. But for now, I'm just going to activate the quote. Once the quote is activated, we can then create an order for the customer. By selecting Create Order, this form will pop up. And here we can see that the only option that I have for status reason is one. And then there is a date for date one. And then we also have an option to add a description, but I'm just going to leave it and select OK. Something to note is that throughout this entire process, you have the option to add and remove any products that you wish by either selecting the plus sign in the top right corner of the product section or the remove button. Then to ensure that this order is saved, I'm going to select the save button in the bottom right corner and then select create invoice. And from there, the invoice will be sent to the customer. And that is how to create quotes, orders, and invoices. 